everyone, welcome back to Liquored and Lacquered. If you want to know the details of the manicure I have on right now, you can check out the description box down below. And I'm drinking a nice glass of Rioja as I have been for the last number of videos because I'm doing lots and lots of recording this evening. So yeah, you'll see this manicure in a few videos. This video is going through some polishes that I picked up recently from mainstream and budget brands, which I don't do as much as I used to. So um, I thought I'd just put them all in one episode and just talk you through what I picked up. Most of them I picked up while I was in the UK over in Manchester visiting the lovely Claire Grey, but the first three I picked up here in Zurich. Um, so this is one of my go-to budget brands. This is Catrice and I was interested to see what their black was like. This is number 20 Black to the Roots and I was not disappointed at all. This is one coat of this black. Now, I don't think it would be one coat on my nails. I don't think you guys can see it, but there is a tiny little bit of patchiness on this, but still really, really very, very opaque for a budget um, brand. And I'm very, very pleased with it. These polishes are also vegan usually, but maybe not this one because they don't have the vegan sticker on the black. Maybe the vegan one, maybe this isn't vegan, but I think mostly all of the Catrice polishes are vegan now, but just check if you don't want to use a non-vegan product. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the black, just to double check that one. But very pleased with that. And I'm going to come back to that black because I am using it for various polishes throughout this video. I also wanted to pick up a budget white. And the reason I was picking up black and white, you might think, oh, I have loads of black and white. I do, but I'm running out of them um, really badly. I've, I've got come to the end of my second bottle of essence uh, and um in black and in white and they were just sold out of essence they do not restock essence as much as they used to here or maybe essence is selling much better than it was before but black and white was all sold out in my local shop so i end up going for the black in catrice and the white in manhattan this is painted white this is a super white as well not one coat this is two but still very, very good for two coats. And just for using as a base under um, uh, neons, which is what when I'm coming into the summer, I just wanted to make sure I had a white on hand for that. And also just for reverse stamping. You'd be amazed how much black and white you get through that, you know, non-stamping polishes in black and white. So this is a pretty decent white polish from Manhattan, which is our version of Rimmel here. Now, beside that, I picked up another Catrice. I was kind of intrigued by the new Catrice More Than Nude collection. And they're very sheer polishes that are just kind of give you a wash of color on your nails. So this one is their white one, and this is Milk It Shine. It's number one in the collection, and it has a beautiful blue flash. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing this blue flash really here. It, I mean, it's there. There's something there, but this is three coats, so I don't think I'll ever wear this on my yellowed nails. I put it over the white here, and it's not too bad. I can see the flash here a little bit. I don't think you guys can, um, but that's one coat over the uh, the white, but let's try. While we're all here together, let's try a second coat. Yeah, it's not as great as I thought it was going to be. I thought this is going to look really, really cool, but that blue just doesn't come out on the nail, unfortunately. It's kind of there, really, but no, not enough. Uh, so I need to figure out how can I make this work on my nails, because my nails are so yellow. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Any suggestions what to do with this polish? I have it now, so need to do something with it but that is from the more than nude collection I don't think I'll bother with any more from that collection but maybe you'll want to have a look at them yourself and um, they fit all skin tones apparently so yeah you can have a look at them and let me know if you have any others from this collection it's it's very rare that I'm disappointed with a Catrice polish it has to be said but yeah that's you can see the blue I guess more on this than you can over the white anyway so they were the ones that I picked up in Zurich. And then when I was in uh, Manchester, I, well, I was supposed to go shopping with Claire, but we ended up just nattering in the pub all day and yeah, having a good time. So we didn't end up going shopping, but I had already been shopping um, 
in Manchester the morning, uh, the morning of the day I met Claire. And I definitely knew I wanted to pick up some of the new Primark polishes. These are the Mermaid Magic polishes. I didn't pick up the purple and I was kind of sorry I didn't pick it up. Um, but I felt like the purple would look very similar to the Galactic Glow collection that I have from... Uh, Catrice actually and I wanted to pick up the pink and um, green and blue which is exactly what I did. Now this is the pink here in three coats so again you're not going to build up any opacity to cover your nail at all or at your nail line. If you have short nails maybe you like that look. This is it in one coat over black but I will be wearing this over a pink. I think this will look really, really cool over a neon pink. And the pink is called Coral, which is weird because it's pink. And this again is another PS Cosmetics, Primark Cosmetics issue. They always misname and miss, yeah, they miscategorize their polishes, I feel. Like they had, their holographic polishes are, I think, called chrome polishes. Really strange. Anyway, this is, um, their pink version from the Mermaid Magic Collection. Then I picked up the green, which is a really bright green. And they are this bright in person. It's not just my light. This is a really beautiful bright green. And there's kind of a teal flash in here as well. So this is the green. Again, it won't cover your nail at all, but uh, it is nice over black actually. It does look good, so yeah. And this one is called Sea Foam. Oh, I guess coral, not in, as in the colour, coral as in what you see in the sea. I don't know. Anyway, that is the green. And then we have the blue, which is really, really pretty. It's got a kind of a purple flash in here too. Very, very pretty indeed. And this is called aquamarine. So here it is uh, over on its own in three coats again. You're not getting any opacity there and here it is over the blue and there's a really strong color change here in the blue which I don't know if you're going to pick up in my on my camera but in person like there's a this kind of gives a teal to purple effect on your nail whereas the pink gives a blue to purple effect so they are very very different so if you can't get the galactic glow collection from Catrice and you have a Primark nearby maybe try out those um, those mermaid magic polishes and there is a purple one I might yet pick up the purple one I'll see I'm in London towards the end of the month so I'll, I'll have a look around all right so I also picked up some of their liquid metal um, polishes I loved this coppery orange color it's got this lovely gold shimmer in it unfortunately it's not as orange as I thought it was going to be I really wanted something really bright and orange but I still love the copper effect that it is a really it is a very orangey copper to be fair but I was hoping it would be that bright kind of orange but I guess the gold just kind of spreads out a little bit. So it's it's very, it looks very different, I feel, on the nail. You're not getting that gold. You you can see the gold shimmer, but it's not as strong as it is up against the, the side of the bottle, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But this is called Penny. I love it. I saw Nika had this um, on her channel recently as well. And yeah, I'm very, very pleased that I picked it up. So that's Penny. And it's gorgeous in one coat. That's one coat. I would imagine if I'm doing a full manicure I'll need two coats but I'm actually going to try this out with stamping that's why I bought this because I don't really have an orange uh, stamping polish a metallic orange stamping polish so I'm going to try it out with stamping and I'll report it back next up we have this one there's a hair stuck on my finger and I kind of get it off anyway we have this one this is their silver chrome and this is called Nova it's just a really lovely shimmery silver and I have, this is their classic chrome, so this is their new chrome line I guess and I have a polish from Essie called Apres Chic, I absolutely love it but it's running out and I thought well this is going to be a this is going to be quite close and I think it is. Um, I'll try and do a dupe for you some stage but I think it's very very close to the Apre Chic so if you have that polish or you were looking for that Essie polish I think this one is a good, it's a very very good formula that's it in two coats and it's really really beautiful. I love a good silver polish it's always a standard and that's why I've almost run out of my Apre Chic because I use it quite a bit. And finally then from Primark, I picked up another liquid metal polish and it's this very 
yellowy greeny gold it's very very yellow actually in this light and it kind of reminds me a tiny little bit of a polish from super chic but i can't remember the name of it right now but anyway it's a very yellow gold and this is called golden and again i picked it up to see if it would be any good for stamping but actually i just i kind of just wanted it also as a base it's not everybody's cup of tea when it comes to gold like if i hold it up to my ring it's not that nice kind of metal gold it's a very yellow gold so i guess yeah it's very close to the born pretty stamping polish that i have on my nail already so it's very very close to that but i'm going to try and stamp with it i don't think i will this is one coat i can just see that there is light coming through you can just see that the the light coming through there so i don't think it's going to stamp but we'll try it out nonetheless so that is golden and that's with the last primark polish and then of course no trip to um to london or to ireland or whatever is complete without going into super drug and having a look at what they have from orly and i picked up this beautiful bright i mean it's called um purple crush but it's very pink and it's a really really bright kind of um purpley pink i guess is the best way to describe it and i just love these kind of colors in the summer and so I thought it might need a bit of brightening up over white. So I put it over white here. Um, so where is it? Yeah, white beside that one. Okay, there's no difference. Maybe slightly brighter over the white. It does have, it will take two to three coats on my nails. It does lean into the jelly side of its formula. But maybe I'll wear it over white. What do you guys think? Uh, there's very little difference the only thing that might affect is the opacity it's not meant to it's not a neon so it's not meant to behave like that I, I just did it out of curiosity more than anything else but I love the polish nonetheless love 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 this color in the summer so very happy to have it and I love the bottles from Orly and then I went into TK Maxx and picked up for $3.99 this beautiful corally color but they have described it as terracotta it's a little bit too pink to be terracotta maybe but maybe it is it, it looks way more coral to my eye what do you guys think um you know i'm not the best at this but it's called terracotta and here it is it does look quite terracotta down the camera but yeah there is it's kind of a corally terracotta anyway either way lovely lovely color great formula on that that's two coats that's those that was two coats as well so um i think i'll need three on the other one this one i think i'll be okay in two all right then when lisa went to visit claire they went shopping and they bought this polish and when i saw it in super drug i was like i'm gonna buy it as well so that the three of us can twin or triplet someday and then we both we all got it from well i didn't get to meet lisa but hopefully someday i will but when um we did our day trips to manchester then we have we all have this polish i was just kind of jumping on the bandwagon on one the house polish bandwagon this is a fabulous molten metal polish from um barry m it's called celestial silver and it's got this gorgeous shift in here from like a purple to a teal color and it's in this kind of it looks like it's in a charcoal type of base uh here we go like in this gray base with the the purple and um, teal shift and then it's got those beautiful holographic glitters in there too very very pretty so this will remind me of house polished this is like our house polished color now i think what do you think lisa and claire <laughs> and uh, the last one i picked up is a topper i picked this up in tk max i love these toppers from nails ink here it is i thought this is this is saint patrick's day in a bottle all the different colored greens we've got a yellow in there as well and we've got white in all matte colors and uh we've got micro white glitter in there too and i just thought this is a beautiful topper to have for saint patrick's day or for irish manicures or something like that so really really love it wasn't expecting like the giant glitters in here but there are some giant glitters in there 
so that was it that was my uh, little haul from uh, of late from kind of mainstream and budget brands let me know if you have played around with any of the polishes from Primark and what looked what they looked good over or indeed if you've uh, used any of the orally polishes or any molten metal as I'd be interested to know because I don't have a huge amount of these brands um, Barium or um, Orly but I have a few that I really love. Alright guys and girls I will talk to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!